Hey there guys, how the hell are you? It's time for Q&A number 5. And uh, in this Q&A, I have a lot of great questions. But I asked uh, a, people a few days ago to send me a lot of Batman-related questions because The Dark Knight Rises comes out in just a few more days. I'm in Batman movie mode. Uh, I just did a long video about uh, Batman and my love for the guy. It was very bizarre and weird. But anyway, that's going to be up on my other channel. Uh, so anyway, let's just jump into the Q&A. Um, what's your most disturbing childhood memory? I actually share that in a video on this channel called uh, The Worst Christmas Ever. It's about my Uncle Gary who pissed on the Christmas tree and he turned around and showed me his junk and then he told me Santa wasn't real. Uh, what are some of your favorite, least favorite artwork on a DVD or Blu-ray? Um, off the top of my head, I can't really say I have a favorite or least favorite, um, but I will say... I love the uh, promotional artwork for The Dark Knight. I love those blue tones of the city and debris flying everywhere. Um, so I really like that that artwork. And least favorite would be, um, I know that wasn't really a cover, but th that's what I like. And uh, I'd say least favorite is they're putting all these catalog titles on Blu-ray nowadays or DVD. And they're just taking the shittiest guy who's at the the guy who's the shittiest at Photoshop and taking a picture of the actor's face and just slopping it on there and it looks all I don't know that's I hate that um, like look at the new frequency uh, Blu-ray cover it looks like garbage. Um, I'm planning on switching to Blu-ray. What would you consider sending me a Blu-ray to start my collection? I would really be grateful. Um, you want me to just send you a Blu-ray? No. Um, just go buy one, man. Go to Best Buy right now. You can buy Blu-rays for $5 straight in your DVDs. Uh, all four Q&As, and you didn't answer my question. Okay, I will answer your question now. Maybe I just missed it. I actually, I think I did answer your question somewhere. Um, what are your thoughts on Big Arnie coming back to the movies? Um, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger was never the greatest actor, but he was always fun to watch and likable. Uh, but the thing that he had going for him was that big, strong physique. And he's a little older now, so it's going to be... He, he has a little bit of that, but now he can kind of play like a, a bigger, not-so-good acting Clint Eastwood, like Gran Torino Clint Eastwood. And I heard in this next movie, he's going to... Or a movie coming up, he actually plays a sheriff of, of, of a small town with a drug smuggling thing. I don't know. Um, I think it'll be interesting, though. I, I, I'm curious. Uh, how would you like to keep... What the fuck? Um, okay, um, there's a question about pubes. Also... Okay, come on, let's get to a question. If you had to get gay with one man, who would it be? This is this is what these are the, my Q and A's. Um, for me, it's either Michael Fassbender or Ryan Gosling. I'm gonna go with Christian Bale, but he's wearing a Batman costume. That way, it takes away the. Uh, you don't have to look at their face. You know what I mean? It's okay then. Uh, plus, it'd be cool. It's like, hey guys. Uh, oh, yeah, you, you banged uh, Sarah Jessica Parker? That's gross. You know who I banged? Batman. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Um, hey, John, can you talk about review all the Harry Potter films and make a video of must-have Blu-rays? I've made many videos of must-have Blu-rays. Check out my other channel, The Flick Pick. Um, tons of must-have Blu-ray videos, well, a couple. And also, I will. I plan on reviewing all the Harry Potter films in a, a month or two, Um I have I have something I'm working on, so we'll see if it pans out. Dude, I just heard news that they're trying to remake American Psycho, which is one of my favorite movies. What do you think about this? I don't put alcohol in my face because alcohol dries out your skin and makes you age faster. Um, Christine, don't just look at it, eat it. I love American Psycho. I base my life on that movie. And you know what? I love the original. But you know what? If they want to remake it, I'm curious to see where it goes. Um, I think they're going to try to make like a modern day version of it. Which the 1980s was what made that movie so great. So um, that whole theme that they had going. So I don't know. Uh, what Batman villain would you like to see, like to have seen in the Dark Knight trilogy? Which one would I have liked to have, have seen? Um, you know what? I think, you know, they had the Scarecrow, they had Joker, they had Ra's al Ghul, they had Bane, they're going to have Catwoman. To be honest, I think they, they covered all the very interesting ones that we have yet to be seen. And, uh, well, we've seen Catwoman, played by Michelle Pfeiffer, which I like that. I like Michelle Pfeiffer back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. Um, anyway, um... Bane was one that I really wanted to see done well, and I think Tom Hardy is going to pull it off. So, um, 
maybe the penguin, but at the same time, the penguin's just kind of like a like a business type guy, and he's not really a big match for Batman. So, um, I'd like to see Mister Freeze done in some sense. Um, okay, if you could be one Batman character that isn't Batman, who would it be? And you really got to think about questions like that. Um, you know, would you want to be Bane? But who would really want to wear a mask all the time? That if you take off the mask, you're in a lot of pain. That doesn't sound fun, right? Um, I think maybe I would like to be. That's a hard one. That is, Razal Ghul got to live forever. That'd be kind of cool if he could live forever. Um, maybe Razal Ghul, not the coolest villain, but kind of the most normal one. You know. Um, Plus, I want to live forever. I don't know what that what that says about me. And maybe I have some kind of weird complex issues. Uh, what is your favorite Pixar film? Toy Story. The original Toy Story will always take me back to being a kid. But after that, I'm going to have to go with maybe The Incredibles. Um, uh, what do you think? Oh, he also asked, what do you think about the fight in Stand By Me when the four main characters... Uh, when you're talking about the fight where they're all... No, that's when they're messing around in the uh, the leeches. Oh, the fight scene. Yeah, you know, that's how f people and kids would fight. You know, I and there's something very emotional. Just that whole movie is emotional. You know, that that is one of my favorite movies of all time, and that that's one movie that can make me think about life, and really, it takes me back somewhere. You know, uh, have you ever had have you ever had or been to a Project X type party? Uh, I don't think many parties like that in reality exist. You know, maybe if I lived out in L.A. and had a coke addiction, maybe I could attend one of those parties. But in reality, the parties where I come from all take place in someone's basement, and it's overcrowded, and there's a lot of smoke. And then I just end up drinking a lot, and then I pass out in the back of my my car. That's how that's how real parties go. Uh, did you used to watch WWF back in the day? Who is your favorite fav Who is your favorite wrestler? I used to really like Mankind, uh, Mick Foley, because he just, he always took the biggest bumps, you know, the guy, you could really see that his heart was in it, and yeah, back in the day, I watched WWF when the Attitude Era was going on, that's when wrestling was fun and entertaining, you know, it's like, I know it's fake, but it's entertaining and you don't know what's going to happen, it's not how it is nowadays, really PG'd and watered down. Uh, who's your favorite actor who played Batman? Christian Bale, by far. Uh, Michael Keaton was... My second favorite. He was just very interesting. Um, what is your top five Blu-ray films to date? Um, I actually did a top ten Blu-ray uh, video before. So in there I think I picked The Dark Knight as my favorite Blu-ray. Uh, after Chris Nolan has finished working with the Batman movies, what other movie, franchi what other movie franchises do you see him rebooting? Um, why does my nose itch all of a sudden? Uh... I I think Chris Christopher Nolan showed some interest in doing uh, a 007 movie, and you gotta you, you know it doesn't matter who's attached to that thing. You know what the the studio's going to do? They're gonna be like Christopher Nolan wants to direct our movie. Okay, fuck everything, fire him, fire Daniel Craig, Christopher Nolan, come on in and take over. Okay, please. And by the way, here's a, a bag full of money. Do whatever you want. Uh, so I would love to see Christopher Nolan do a 007 movie. Um, that's I think it'd be interesting. I'm curious who he would want to play uh, 007. You know, I, I could see him picking like Tom Hardy or Christian Bale or something. Um, uh, if Christian Bale would have turned down the role of Batman, who do you think should have played Batman and the Joker? That's a tough question. That really is, I off the top of my head, to pick somebody to play Batman right now, I don't know. I, I really don't know, you know, I'm just glad they didn't get someone like Carl Urban um, to play him, you know, very stoic and kind of boring. Um, Christian Bale's, I, I can't see anybody else playing Batman right now besides Christian Bale, and as for the Joker, there was a lot of uh, rumors flying around at that time. I remember Heath Ledger was like the bottom of everyone's list for, you know, who would they want to play the Joker. Uh, Guy Pierce, I think, could have done an okay job, um, but... You know, maybe maybe Guy Pierce off the top of my head. Uh, minus Christian Bale Batman movies. Which other Batman movie is your top one? Why? Uh, besides, um, let's go to uh, Batman Returns. That is my that's my favorite Batman movie after Nolan's um, trilogy. 
just because it went dark and grittier, and Danny DeVito's Penguin was just... That was one of the best uh, Batman villains I've seen on screen. And you, you bought into that guy being in a sick, twisted pervert, you know, that lives in the sewer. Nice ass, John. Thanks, man. Um, have you ever seen the documentary Dear Zachary? No, I, I haven't. Um, what's it about? Uh, and what are your thoughts on Quentin Tarantino? Quentin Tarantino is, uh, he has a very uh, classic sense of filmmaking. He definitely knows how to tell a story. And he has some of the most interesting uh, dialogue in movies. Um, my favorite Tarantino movie is Pulp Fiction. Um, but, uh, yeah, I like Tarantino. I, and uh, I'd like to see, um, could you imagine like a Tarantino Batman movie? Uh, Batman's just standing there talking for like 25 minutes. But the conversation's really interesting. Uh, if you could change your last name to any movie title, what would it be? Um, hmm. Let me look back here for a second. John Batman? No. John Jurassic Park? No. John Back to the Future? Kind of catchy. Um, John Terminator? No, John Kickass. That's what I would want. It, that's what I would want it to be. Uh, CG or tradition? CG or traditional animation, and why? As much as I like the original animation films, especially by Disney, um, I'm gonna go with CG. Uh, just because there's there's no band there's no boundaries, and plus you can get art I you can't you can have a speech impediment right now. That's what you can have. You can get artistic expression across with CG. You know, you can really see that there's a style there. It's not, you know, blocks of pixels, you know. There's there's style and there's there's substance there. So I'm going to go with CG just because it makes it feel more like a real environment. Plus, it feels animated at the same time. So, uh, Would you screw Batman if he walked up to you and said, Hey, dude, let's get it on. Yeah, I already, I already said that. I already admitted that. You know, how many other guys would admit to that? If you, would, uh, if you guys would bang Batman, let me know down below. I mean, it's not weird. It's just, that's how you know if you're really a true man inside. Uh, whenever, they re whenever they reboot the Batman movies, which actor would you like to see play the character of Bruce Wayne, Batman, and what would you like to see out of this reboot? At, off the top of my head, I can't pick a Batman. But I would like to say, if they reboot the series, they're going to have to go another direction. You know, they're not going to go big and corny like Batman and Robin, but they can't go as realistic and dark as the Nolan movies. they gotta, they got to find something in between to make it different and interesting. And if you take, um, for example, Batman Arkham Asylum. Now, I'm not saying go with something exactly like that, because at times the storyline of that game was a little too damn cheesy. But I'm going to say... Find a find a, a common ground there. Like take Watchmen for example, kind of a, a very comic book movie, a little bit dark, but it wasn't scared to be comic booky when it had to. Um, you know, uh, I mean, yeah, I guess it was. Watchmen was rated R, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So yeah, pretty damn dark and gritty. But take a lighter version of Watchmen, but take that kind of look and style, um, and put Batman in it. You know, don't be scared to kind of go comic booky. If you want, if you want to put Mister Freeze in there, do it. But don't do what they did with Arnold back in Batman and Robin, you know? Uh, make him gritty, make him dark, but don't make him so damn cheesy. Give him a reason why he has to be frozen and make it uh, plausible, but don't be scared to do something like that. So that's that's what I'd like to see. Um, a comic booky Batman, but with a little more realism. Uh, what do you think of Australia? Seems like a cool place, man. It really does. That's one place I'd like to go. If you gave me a, if you could say I could go anywhere today, I'd probably check out Australia. That or I have always wanted to go like um, to China or Japan, just because it it's so different from you know our, my culture. You know, I'm used to WalMarts and uh, McDonald's. Uh, have you seen Iron Sky? I don't know. Um, I don't think so. I'd have to actually watch look at the movie cover to know if I've seen I you know who knows I, I see a lot of random movies um, Iron Sky does not sound familiar though have you ever seen uh, Never Back Down such an underrated film now I have seen Never Back Down and it's a fun movie you know I don't really have a, a big problem with it um, it's kind of fun it's kind of like it's almost like a Karate Kid remake 
if you really break it down, it is kind of like a Karate Kid remake for modern times, but you put in UFC. Um, so I don't, yeah, Never Back Down was okay. Uh, plus it had, um, what's her name? I just forgot the really hot blonde chick's name. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. Um, Amber Heard. Yes, Amber Heard. Um, what it, why is your room so messy? Actually, I, it was messy in the last Q&A, but I cleaned it up. It's nice. It's, it's clean. It's organized. And I actually cleaned my bathroom for the first time in about a year and a half. And I know you're, it, that's not a joke. It's serious. It was disgusting. I actually bleached the floor. I used a whole bottle of bleach. It needed it, though. It was like a cesspool. Uh, what do you think about the Fast and Furious fr uh, franchise? Also, what is what are your thoughts on Jason Bourne franchise? Uh, the Fast and Furious franchise got pretty much worse every movie they made. The first one, I remember, I was like, that was pretty damn good. And then the second movie, I was like, why did they try to make this all MTV and, and junky and shitty like a B-rate movie? The third one... Actually, I like more than the second one just because it took place in another country and it was kind of like an interesting concept. Um, and Fast Five is went big and actiony. It was kind of you know, wasn't necessarily about racing. They tried to make it like this heist movie, um, which I didn't mind. I actually like Fast Five a lot. That and the original Fast and Furious were my favorite. As for as for the uh, Jason Bourne franchise, uh, I love the first um, Jason Bourne movie, uh, the Bourne Identity, but. The other two were just kind of forgettable to me. Um, plus, I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the director, Paul Greengrass, and uh, his shaky cam style. Um, but the new one with Jeremy Renner looks, it looks promising. So, uh, what else do you think would be, what else do you think would be a good Batman? Who, oh, who else do you think would be a good Batman? I should have thought about that before I made this video because a lot of people are going to ask it. Um, uh, a good Batman. You know, that's that's a good question. And I wanna, if you guys have a good idea for who could play a good Batman, let me know down below. I just feel like they, they're going to have to find an actor who's up and coming, but not super famous. Um, you need somebody that you can buy into the role of Batman. Um, so I, I don't know. Uh, Red Letter Media has like one review and, it star, and it's Star Wars, Clone Wars or something. No, Red Letter Media, they're not just... Red Letter Media has more videos than just their 90-minute Star Wars reviews. They actually, if you go to their website, they put out a new re, uh, new movie review every other week. And it's not... Uh, in the, it's it's uh, two guys setting, setting there talking, and it's actually them. It's not, you know, uh, them doing a voiceover to video clips. Um, so, yeah, check it out. It's kind of my favorite thing to watch when it comes to uh, movie reviews. Uh, who is your favorite superhero in Watchmen? Uh, Dr. Manhattan. Um, yeah, Dr. Manhattan. Look at that guy, man. Uh, I'm jealous. That's all I'm going to say. Um, who do you think of... What do you think of Bane as the main villain in uh, The Dark Knight Rises? Um, that's the one villain... I wanted to see. I was really hoping and praying that they put him in the movie somewhere. And it completely makes sense. It's like the only other villain who can actually kick Batman's ass in, in a physical confrontation. Plus, he's extremely smart, and uh, I think it comes across very well so far in the trailers. And uh, they definitely picked one of my favorite actors, so um, I can't wait. They did exactly everything I kind of wanted them to do with Bane. And uh, I can't... I have no complaints as of right now. I mean... Sure, Bane could have been a little bit bigger, but you know what? Tom Hardy is a good actor, and he looks like a, a badass, so I think he can pull it off. Tiny Todd's crawling in the air vents. Actually, uh, I found Tiny Todd down the street at a strip club the other day. He was high on cocaine. He was drunk. He was vomiting. He came home. He's tried to get in a fist fight with me. It was about it was financial, you know, disputes. But uh, I set him straight, and now he's actually in a, a, a comatose state. He's actually in a coma right now. So when Tiny Todd comes out of the coma, um, or from his own personal hell, which he's in right now, we will uh, we'll get back to Tiny Todd. But right now, I just keep him in a shoebox. Uh, the newest Harry Potter collection set is for five hundred dollars on Amazon, but it is selling for three fifty. But since Warner Brother, but since it's a Warner Brothers release, the price tag is going to tank. Um, you know, I'm trying to get that set. I'm trying to work on getting that set, and that's um, 
It is very expensive, so I'm trying to get that set, though. Um, I'll, I'll let you know that right now. Uh, hey, John, if you were directing a Batman movie, what would you put into the character and story that would be different than what we haven't seen before? Like I, I said before, um, I would take a Watchmen style that's not scared to go for the comic book thing, but make it dark and make it believable. You know, don't be scared to put, you know, crazy characters in there that can't exist in Nolan's realistic version, you know, but don't make it corny. Find that medium ground somewhere. Um, and I think there's a lot of room there. And also, you know, when it comes to who would play Batman, do you want a younger guy or an older guy? And it's, it's a tough decision, you know. I think the younger guy would be a safer bet, but I think it's time that we have a Batman who's maybe in his late 30s or his 40s and uh he's getting a little scruffy and he's getting old and uh you know i know that's what the dark knight rises is, is getting to but i think that would be a, a really interesting premise um the warriors is a great movie who is your favorite character and favorite gang i love the furies the guys that were the baseball uniforms with the painted masks plus kiss was big at the time so that's where the, the concept probably came from but um, anyway, yeah, the, the Baseball Furies, and also I love, um, my favorite character from the movie would probably be, uh, Can You Dig It? You know who I'm talking about. Um, alright. He shot Cyrus! Pay for what? You know, you also remember that guy? Warriors, come out to play, yay! I also like that guy, I don't know what his name is. Uh, next question. How often do you jerk off? <sighs> the truth would scare you, my friend. Um, I'm jerking off right now. No, I'm, just, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, which villain, <laughs> which villain would you want to be in a Batman movie who has never been in a Batman movie? I would like to see Mr. Freeze done right. Um, you know, a lot of people might say, like, Killer Croc or something, but... I'd like to see a good version of Mr. Freeze. Um, what do you think the best Batman villain performances in movies have been so far? He includes animated movies. Um, I was just going to live action. Uh, the Joker, I think Bane will be another one of them. I think uh, Danny DeVito's Penguin was pretty good. So I'm going to go with those three right there. Um, let's see. Oh, if you could pick one actor to play Dick Grayson slash Robin, who would it be? I would never want Robin in a Batman movie, you know, maybe to a slight extent, but I don't really want Batman to have a sidekick. Um, but Joseph Gordon Lovett, Lovett would, uh, I think, would be kind of like my choice, but, you know, that would never, he could never do that because he's kind of already somewhere in the Batman universe, so, but that would be my first pick. Um, Okay, next question. Uh, would you rather spend the whole day with Jim Carrey's Riddler or Danny DeVito's Penguin? Well, if I was with Danny DeVito's Penguin, I would have been raped and murdered, and he would have showed me his French flipper trick. With uh, Jim Carrey's Riddler, I would have got extremely uh, um, annoyed, but he would have stuck a tube to my head and sucked out all my brain matter out. So uh, I think I'd go with the Riddler, though. Um, if... Wait... Oh, if you were dating Catwoman from Batman Returns, how would you introduce her to your parents? I'd be like, Mom, Dad, um, I'm banging Catwoman. If you guys have a, a problem with this, um, I don't really care because I'm banging Catwoman. Uh, what is the movie you're most excited to see except for The Dark Knight Rises? Um, I'm waiting... Uh, what's coming? Oh, the new 007 movie directed by Sam Mendes. I'm really excited to see that. Um... With, with all of these amazing reactions to The Dark Knight Rises, can it rank as one of the greatest movies of all time? I think it really. I think it's definitely going to. And in my opinion, I have a. I have a feeling that, it, for me, it will be better than The Dark Knight. Um, uh, do you read any Marvel slash DC comics? No, I've never really been a, a big comic book reader, but I've always enjoyed the uh, the artwork and the illustrations in them. You know, as far as storylines goes. Not not the biggest fan, but I love the uh, the artwork in comic books. Uh, what is your favorite scene in The Dark Knight? The interrogation scene between Batman and the Joker. That that just always blows me away. Um, also, I like the uh, chase scene with the tumbler 
going in the uh, Chicago underpass or whatever it is. Um, I, that's kind of a cool scene too. I love car chase scenes. So um, now in Batman Begins, it was definitely the car chase scene. That was one of my favorite. Um, you're a fucking legend, mate. What do you think of the Bourne movies? I already, I already answered that. Um, but thank you, man. Uh, okay, the next one is: What do you think of Tom Hardy's ba Tom Hardy's Bane wears that mask? What do I think about the Bane mask? I think you're getting to. Um, at first, I was kind of taken back by it, but it makes sense, and I, I like it. The more and more I see of it, I really like that mask. By the way, I need to buy that mask. There's a cheap one on Amazon right now for like twenty dollars, but I heard it's shitty, so. Um, do you think they should reboot Batman after the Dark Knight Rises? Um, I love Batman so much. Just give me another version and make it good, and I think it'll be good. You know, I know they're never going to be Nolan-style movies, but I think there's a lot of room for another Batman movie a few, a few years down the road, and uh, I'm a huge fan, so I can't go without a Batman movie forever. Uh, do you still own Kazam and Brotherhood of Justice on DVD? I actually got rid of Kazam. I sold it to one of my friends who wanted it for some odd reason. I don't know. Uh, but I still do have Brotherhood of Justice sitting back there, and it reminds me of what good movies are. Uh, if Bat... Okay. Uh, can you wear the Batman mask for the dur duration of the q and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because I listen to my, my viewers. Uh, All right, here's where it gets sad. <sighs> but one thing I'm not gonna do is talk like Batman. Where is he? Okay, that's enough. Uh, what what you like to would you like to have Alfred as your butler? Hell yeah, I'd like to have a but butler any day of the week. But I think I'd be such a big asshole the butler would end up spitting in all my food, then I'd have to fire him. So I don't know uh, if I could trust him. Uh, what do you think of director David Fincher? David Fincher, uh, my eye itches. Uh, David Fincher is uh, one of my favorite directors, actually. You know, you have movies like Seven, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, um, and the guy just really is a perfectionist. You know, every single shot he ever does in a movie just looks perfect, and I think David Fincher is... Uh, I'd like to see uh, what he has in, in store for the future, but all of his movies look phenomenal. Um... Do you do Ill illegal downloads? I have nothing against it. I could care less. But to me, illegal downloads takes too much. It just takes too much time, man. I, I if, if I want something bad enough, I'll just buy it or find a really good deal. Uh, but for example, and I'll be honest with you guys, whenever I, I like uh, nowadays, okay, I, I guess I do do illegal downloading. I lied. Uh, you can go to keepvid.com and, and uh, take any YouTube video you want and copy and paste it in there. So I do that for songs I like, and I'll, I'll use the audio. Um, I'm usually just downloading Batman music, so when I go to the gym to work out, I feel like a hard ass. If I could wear this when I go to work out, that would... I don't care. I, I, that would make me feel like a big man. Um, and now the, cat the battery camera might die here shortly, so if it does, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to try to get to more questions. Uh, do you think Bane can impact Gotham more than the Joker? Yes, I think Bane has an army with him, and the Joker had some henchmen. So I think Bane's plan is going to be more effective than the Joker's. I live in Canada. Feel free to base yourself here. Give me your address. I'll be there in uh, 14 hours. Uh, if you were Batman, what villain would you least and most be excited to meet? I'll tell you what. If I was Batman, who would? what villain would I be most scared of? Maybe Bane. That's a that's a big that's a big motherfucker. I think he would break my back, and then I'd uh, be crippled the rest of my life, and then I curl up in the fetal position. Uh, the most the one I'd love to meet the most would probably be um, the Riddler. I just would like to beat the shit out of that guy. You know, it's like what are you doing trying to be a super villain? You know, okay, you got your riddles, asshole. I'll, I'll crush your face. I'm Batman. Um, okay. Uh, what villain? Okay, let's. I think I answered that. Uh, what do you think of the upcoming Batman reboot? I'm all for it, man. I'm curious. Uh, have you ever considered comedy, like being a comedian, because your sense of humor is hilarious, and the way you do impressions and make fun of yourself is pure comedy? I think it all stems from my childhood. Uh, I lived in a very comedic family. 
you know, we always, we never had, there was a lot of bad things that happened in our, in our family, but there was always comedy, and everyone was always kind of funny, you know? No one held back, and I think that's where it comes from, but as for being a comedian, um, I've thought about it. I've thought about going to some open mic nights and uh, getting together a nice little five-minute routine, and I just, maybe I have a, a some kind of weird stage fright, you know? I'm not scared to be on the stage talking about whatever, but... To actually remember every single joke uh, would be uh, terrifying. So I'd have to build up some more courage. Um, hey, John, what do you predict the conclusion of The Dark Knight Rises will be? I have, I have, I do have predictions. I really do have predictions. Um, I'm not going to share them with you right now because I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. Um... But my prediction is, I don't think Batman dies. Um, but I think the symbol will live on. So, uh, But uh, I will be having a spoiler-filled Batman uh, video after a few days after it comes out, talking all about the movie in detail. And that will be on my other channel. So uh, look forward to that, please. Uh, who is your favorite love interest for Bat Batman? Mine is Nicole, Kid Nicole Kidman. Um, it Mine would be Michelle Pfeiffer, but that's without seeing the the Dark Knight Rises. Uh, what are your favorite Adam Sandler slash Peter Jackson movies? <laughs> what a bizarre, like, what a very that is the most diverse thing you could ever say. What is your favorite Adam Sandler and then slash Peter Jackson films? Adam Sandler would have to be Billy Madison. That's where I see Adam Sandler. He called the shit poop, and then Peter Jackson probably. I know a lot of people think say Lord of the Lord of the Rings would be Peter Jackson, but I would go with. Um, that's hard. There's a lot of things I like about his King Kong movie, and there's a lot of things I hate about it. Also, you have uh, the Frighteners, and uh, I don't know. That's that's a hard question. I'm gonna take this off because it's getting too hot. Sorry. Uh, have you seen Following? I have yet to see Following. I, I, I am curious to check it out, though. Uh, who would win in a fight, Stallone or Tom Hardy? Stallone's getting kind of old, but Tom Hardy, I don't feel like has a much... I don't know. Tom Hardy, when, he in one of, when he's in one of his buff stages, I think he could maybe kick Stallone's ass, maybe. But back in the day, I'm sure Stallone could have punched him right in the jaw and just broke it. Uh, do you have Xbox Live? I used to have Xbox li Live, but I don't any longer. Um, have you seen Metallica documentary, Some Kind of Monster? Actually, I have seen parts of that, and Metallica is one of my favorite bands. Um, but I, I maybe I need to go back and revisit that. Um, but uh, <laughs> Lars. Don't you love the drummer Lars? There's just something about that guy. Uh, have you ever seen Thrive, What on Earth Will It Take? No, I haven't. Uh, hey, John, what camera do you use for all of your videos? Well, I will let you know. I use a... Uh, where the hell is it? Okay, it used to be listed right here on the thing. Okay. Uh, a Sony HDR XR160. Um, I like it. It's okay. Do uh, you watch 8 The Chosen Ones videos? Yeah, I... Does he still make videos, though? I haven't seen a new video from the guy in a while. I used to watch him... Uh, a while ago, and he was, you know, he was funny, and he called everyone baby dicks, and I got it. It was funny. Plus, speaking of him, does he not look like Bane? He, he has the little mask and the shaved head. Uh, have you seen many of Alfred Hitchcock's films? I've seen uh, several Hitchcock films, and uh, uh, you, there's something about his films that just, they let you know what real cinematic films are. Um, but there's also uh, several that I haven't seen yet. The one I, I haven't seen is uh, Birds, and I'm kind of curious to watch that. Uh, what type of tree do you like? Cedar, pine, or maple? Um, hmm. That's a tough question, man. That's almost... Uh, I like I like maple trees. I like uh, I like how sappy they get. Uh, does, doesn't sap come out of all trees? You know what? That's a stupid answer. And you know what? Um, I used to have a tree house once. So I like trees with tree houses in them. Now we're just getting freaking bizarre here. Um, how much money... Wait. What the fuck? Okay. Heath Ledger didn't commit suicide. Oh, he's talking to somebody else. 
Um, okay, and then there's a Heath Ledger debate in the questions. Okay. Uh, are you still watching Breaking Bad? I, yeah, I've watched all the seasons of Breaking Bad, and uh, I'm all done, and I'm going to start uh, watching the new season. Actually, the new season already started, didn't it? I hate watching week by week, though. I can't do that. I need to watch them all at once. But I, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to go back and watch uh, the the episodes that already started in season five. Okay, uh, I'm going to answer one more question, then I'm going to go. And there's a lot more questions here. I'm only on page 10 out of 40, um, so I'm sorry, but I'm going to answer just a few more, and then uh, I'll do the rest in the next Q&A video here. Uh, would you buy a Terminator-themed dildo? And I think that's that's the good last qu That's a perfect last question. A Terminator-themed dildo. Um, it would be a cybernetic organism, but does it turn into liquid metal? That's my question. Um, yeah, yeah, I would buy that. You, you could call it like the the big T eight thousand or something. I think yeah, I could, I could, I could see that. Um, plus, it's movie memorabilia, so it'd be okay. Okay, my camera, it's about to die. I actually see it blinking. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this Q&A. Let me know your opinions down below, and I'll, I'll have another Q&A very soon answering the rest of the questions. But by the way, um, we'll just end it there. Yeah, that's a good place to